Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Sell This Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to fix the P1297 code, which is your map sensor is gone out. Let's go ahead and get that fixed, get you back on the road, and fix that rough idle. replace the map sensor today which is your manifold absolute pressure sensor and can really mess up your idle if you're trying to actually you know have a nice running operating vehicle that will get you to from point A to point B nice and smoothly. Uh, with that map sensor out it should be giving you a P1297 code saying that uh, the circuit voltage is not changing and that means it hasn't changed within 5% of barometric pressure. Alright, with all that nerd talk aside, let's get into this replacement because we're only looking at two 7 millimeter bolts and so uh, <laughs> your 10 millimeter for your battery terminal. So you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench and a 7 millimeter wrench to complete this repair. And guess what guys, the average cost of this repair is about $300. Okay, I'm going to walk you through it within about five minutes. The entire video is not even ten minutes long. You get to save $300. Hey, let's jump in it, guys. Save you that money. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in on this repair. And uh, first of all, we need to take that negative terminal off that battery. So get a 10 millimeter wrench or socket and go ahead and loosen up that nut on the negative side of the terminal. Now you are going to move that cable away from the terminal because we don't need it contacting the positive side or recontacting the negative side while we are replacing this part. Right there, I'm going to go ahead and point at it. Right there is your MAP sensor. Your, it is your manifold absolute pressure sensor and as you can see that o-ring is flattened out we're missing a little plastic uh little panel piece on the top of that sensor and i'm going to use my finger and move the dust away from the hole i know i'm not shooting at the, in the hole i'm actually trying to focus on that because i don't want to push the dirt in the hole itself just move it out like a starburst okay work from the center of the hole with your finger and work the dust away from it that way when you put this new MAP sensor on it's going to go in there nice and snug as you can see it has a new o-ring on it already installed so you don't have to worry about that and you can see it, it does have the plastic panel on the top that the other one was missing so this uh, you're not just going to go straight in and push down on this okay what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the four o'clock position and you are going to wiggle it in you're going to push down while you slide it clockwise and it will just pop right in then you go ahead and put those two seven millimeter screw bolts back in tighten those down not too tight guys remember the uh, intake manifold is made out of plastic and that sensor is a non-moving item so you don't have to tighten it down crazy torque okay so be careful do not crack your plastic all right now you see i have the new sensor plugged back in the red clip is back in position the screw bolts are tightened down they're all good to go we're just going to go ahead and tighten the negative terminal of the battery it is now okay to put that back on and to tighten it down so you can go ahead and go in the vehicle and get it started up great job guys all right here we are in it And so much nicer now. Woo. 
definitely a lot higher than what we were getting before. My goodness. Yeah, very nice. Love it. Great job, guys. You just saved yourselves a few hundred dollars. Hey, guys. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? Two seven millimeter bolts or little bolt screws, right? Pulled in that sensor ring. You got the red clip to deal with. Boom, take the harness off. All of that after you take the negative terminal off of your battery. Do not forget the negative terminal, guys, okay? You never want to deal with any electronics on your vehicle without taking the negative terminal off because you don't want any voltage fed to that electronic while you're replacing it, right? There we go. So guys, thank you so much for checking out another episode right here on the channel, saving you hundreds of dollars. Hey, you like what we're doing? Smash that like button. It tells YouTube and myself I'm doing a great job and I'll keep doing it making those great videos for you guys. Also, you want to tune in for more DIY auto repair, this is the channel for you. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, that way you're notified of every time I release a new DIY auto repair video right here on the channel. Thank you so much guys for checking out another great episode and until next time, hey, keep on wrenching guys. Take care.